गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल हैव ए नाइस डे थैंक यू टुडे विल डिस्कस चैप्टर लाइट एंड बिफोर डिस्कसिंग लाइट लेट अस डिस्कस समथिंग व्हाट डू इन द लाइट लाइट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज एनेबल टू गिव यू द सेंसेशन ऑफ विजन दैट इज सेंसेशन ऑफ vision that means is the form of energy which produce the sensation of vision sensation of sight the sensation of vision vision means what we can see it. i can see you you can see me everything is around us many things around you okay you can see because of the presence of light so main sources of light energy is what sun solar energy solar energy is the universal sources of energy from that energy only we are getting all kinds of energy so there are different forms of energy so if you list it forms of energy solar energy light energy sound energy i'll write two three points sound energy mechanical energy chemical energy electrical energy any more nuclear. nuclear energy magnetic energy etc okay so there are so many form of energy are there and again we must know about the energy what do we mean by energy energy means what capacity to do work ability to do work what do we mean by energy ability to do work or capacity to do work so ability or capacity ability to do work any kind of work you are doing that is called as energy so ability to do work is called as energy and energy is nothing but is the form of is the form which is produce the sensation of sight sensation of vision i want to see an object okay so that is called as light energy so there are different forms of energy suppose i want to produce heat that is heat energy i want to produce uh, any kind of motion suppose a body is moving from one position to another position that time that amount of energy produced by it or you can feel it that is called mechanical energy kinetic energy now this body is at at rest at a, at a particular position so energy possessed by the body due to any particular position due to its configuration is called as potential energy so like this if we'll discuss about the energy so first we have clear that what do we mean by energy energy is the ability or capacity to do work there are different forms of energy are there right different types of energy solar energy light energy sound energy mechanical energy and so many types of energy are there and without energy uh, i think it is very difficult to see the object to visualize the object to find out any sight okay now let us think that this energy is nothing but it is a packets available in a packets we are not going to get energy in a single form right always energy form energy available in a packets form so packets of energy packets of energy i have already mentioned you i think previous class so packets of energy is generally called as what it is called as quantum what is that this is called as quantum this is called as quantum right packets of energy is called as quantum but whenever you are now nah, today topic is light energy today topic is light so we are not going to discuss the detail about all energy so if you think about the light energy this packets of energy or this quantum is actually called as photon that is called as what photon this is called as photon okay so packets of energy is called as quantum so any kind any kinds of energy in the form of packets maybe mechanical energy in the form of packets quantum nuclear energy in the form of packet is called as quantum okay chemical energy in the form of packet is called as quantum electrical energy in the form of packet is called as quantum right so in the case of electrical energy in electrostatics or electricity chapter you have studied that whenever the charge flows from one place to another place in a particular time period that is called as electrical energy electricity current 
Current means what? The rate of flow of charge. Rate of flow of charge. So, if we we'll discuss this uh, electrical energy, one second. Then rate of flow of the charge. Well, is charge means Q divided by T is equals to current. So, I is equals to what? Q by T. This is also in the form of packet you will get. Electrical energy also you will get in the form of packet. And that we can express in the form of quantization of charge. What is that? Quantization of charge. Whatever the charge present in a body is expressed as quantization of charge. That means Q is equals to I T. Q is equals to I T. And this Q is equals to any. This Q is equals to any means whatever number of electron present. Whatever number of pres electron present and product of number of electron present and the amount of magnitude of charge, any kind of charge is equals to the total charge present in a body. So, it is also expressed in the form of packet. That packet of energy is called as quantum or we can express Q is equals to plus minus any. This expression is called as quantization of charge. What is that? Quantization of charge. So, if you think about this photon, then this is only exclusively for light energy we are considering the packets of energy is called as photon in case of light energy only. Okay? So, you do not use this word for other this one whenever you will go to higher class 12th class then there is a discussion clear discussion about the photon you will get in the wave ray optics chapter wave optics chapter you will get many more things. Now, whenever you are thinking about the light energy and uh, quantum, photon, after that what you should know? You should know about the path of the light energy, path of the light energy. So, the path of the light energy is what suppose I am opening the window here, I am opening this door here, because of that what happened? Radiations came, light energy came and it is visualized to everybody. That is I can see the duster, I can see the board, I can see you, me, I can see everything. That means what? Whenever things are visible to you because of the presence of light energy. So, how it is possible? The light energy traveling from one source to another source. Light energy traveling from one source to another source. So, that means whenever it is coming to you, you are falling to upon you, that means incident on a body. Suppose this is an object, light energy from any source is coming and incident on it. Incident means what? Falling. If it fall on a surface, then that surface what happened? As per its nature, as per its behavior, what happened? It will show it is either it is reflect the light, either it will absorb the light or either it will allow to pass through the light. That is refraction may occur. So, one after one point we will discuss about reflection and refraction. Okay? So, now you just remember what do we mean by ray? Up to this, any doubt? Pakka. Introduction part is over. Okay. Now we'll start the what is light. So I must tell what is ray first. Okay. Ray means what? The path of the light along which path along which light energy travel. I have light energy. You have light energy. Suppose. Hmm, you have light energy eh, stored at home. So, if I have light energy or from any source light energy is travelling means the path along which light energy is travelling, path along which light energy is passing through one medium to another medium, one place to another place, one source to another point, any other point that is called as what ray, that is called as ray. So, what I kiss, what I say ray is equals to the path along, I must write the path along the straight path, obviously. The path means what? It is a straight path. Light energy never moves in what? Zigzag path. So, light energy uh, moves along a path, the path along which light energy travel, light energy travel. from travel is called as ray that is called as ray okay simple okay so simply we must know the path along which light energy is passing through from one medium to another medium 
or from one source to any other point from one direction to any other direction then that path is called as ray that path is called as ray i want to work where i want to work that is i must have eh? that is a road there is a path yes or no plane is traveling flying in the eh? air route should be there train is traveling railway tracks should be there okay if a person is working foot path should be there that means the path along which something is traveling that is called as road that is called as path okay exactly light energy also requires some path to transfer to transverse to transfer from one place to another place so this ray is different types ray means different types what happened that light energy may travel in different uh, pattern that is called as pattern of light energy traveling from one point to another sources from another sources to different sources to maybe it is coming and meeting at a particular point maybe it is parallel it is traveling from one point to another point one medium to another medium that's why what happened the uh, light energy ray is different types we can say uh, first one is let us take a beam a beam of ray okay beam means what beam is the parallel or group of rays group of rays are called as beam okay group of rays group of rays are called as beam okay that means what no doubt light energy traveling means light energy is in single form it is not traveling it is a packets of energy again there is a point that ray means what group of rays group of rays are traveling that is that called as beam so this beam is different types this beam is beam is of different types one we can say parallel beam let's name it parallel beam another one is convergent other one is convergent third one is your divergent please remember divergent okay this concept you must know it before entering to the light chapter reflection and all so parallel beam convergent beam and divergent beam okay can you remember this three beam are there what are the different beam one is parallel second one is your convergent third one is your divergent you see first parallel means what let us take an example all this rays all the light energy traveling like this these are i think the example or diagram of simple diagram of the parallel beam so i can so suppose someone is telling that so parallel beam and draw the line so i can say this is the state by the mathematics also we are uh, constructing like this the parallel rays these are called as parallel rays or the beam of rays now the beam of rays is which, which pattern parallel what is the pattern of the beam i can say parallel now what happened another pattern of the beam is what convergent third one is divergent so in diagram we can see this is parallel beam this pattern second pattern is what suppose from different sources let us uh, draw this type of line you just imagine in your daily life if any kind of suppose a p point i am taking here from different sources from different direction the rays of light or the light energy coming and meeting at a particular point okay so here this is another pattern either say or from here also it is coming here also it is coming from different sources the rays of light is coming and meeting at a particular point that point let it be it is p point means this is the pattern of the beam called as convergent or divergent convergent convergent means from different sources coming and meeting at a point okay next what happened let's write here convergent convergent now divergent now right third one is your divergent divergent beam or divergent pattern of the beam we are considering the pattern means parallel light energy may travel par in parallel light energy may converge from different sources light energy is coming and meeting at a particular point okay now divergent means what from one point different light energy 
are traveling to different direction. The P point is then the common point P point and this is what diverging means what the rays of light from one point they are moving away scattered into different directions. Then this is also another pattern of the beam called as divergent beam. Okay. Clear or not? The pattern of the beam is three types. Beam means the group of rays and the group of rays makes three type of pattern. Three type of pattern. What pattern? Parallel pattern, convergent or divergent. In the three pattern we can identify the group of rays are coming. Okay. Possible in our day to day life this type of beam may possible, this type of beam also possible, this type of pattern also possible. After that what happened? This beam of the rays, group of rays, whenever what happened? Traveling means what? From one source to another source, one point to another point or one medium to another medium. Yes or no? Clear? That means whenever rays of light are traveling from one medium to another medium, okay, then that medium depends that light energy is passing allowed to pass through or not light energy eh, must have allowed to pass through or not so accordingly so after this beam pattern we must know about the medium what is that medium and the rays of light is able to pass through or not from that we can give the name of the medium right so again medium means what medium means through the path through which surface through which okay the light energy travel light energy passes through or not able to pass through or passes through but not transparently partially so medium is of three types again medium is of three types one is opac that in the early classes junior classes you have learned opac medium I can say opaque medium. <coughs> then transparent medium or translucent, let me write translucent medium. Then transparent medium. Transparent medium. Okay. So as per the information we can give that medium is three types through which light energy may fall on that surface fall on any surface and that surface will behave the behavior of the surface on the opaque surface translucent surface or transparent surface how it is behaving okay so medium there is opaque medium means what the medium the type of medium type of the surface through which light energy fall but it will not allow to pass through means this is the wall this is the board this is the wall if in from any sources light energy is falling here so is it possible that this surface this wall will allow to pass through no that means what kind of surface this one okay. this is an opaque surface so opaque surface or opaque medium is that medium through which light energy never pass through never pass through right so light energy never pass through a medium that medium is called as opaque medium Okay. Some types of surface are there that light energy travel pass through that surface that medium but not completely, not completely, partially it passes through partially or partly, partially or we can say partly the light energy passing through the medium partially or partly if any example you know partly translucent medium any example you know. Any example? Glazing papers, yeah, oil papers. Completely, it is not passing through. And transparent medium, the medium through which light energy passes completely. Glass, water. Okay. So what happened? This glasses also, water also. What happened? It also depends upon the density. There are different type of glasses are there accordingly it will allow it will behave to pass through that is what happened it will completely pass through or partially pass through okay so transparent glasses are also there then different different types of glasses are also there sometimes what happened uh, 
uh, in all glasses light energy also not able to pass through completely yes or no so that surface or the medium gives you the behavior if you are uh, emerging the light you are uh, that is what uh, uh, incident the some of the light are incident on the surface of the medium and what happened you will find you will experiment that these mediums are allowing to pass through these mediums are allowing to pass through but not pa uh, completely partly or partially it is passing through and some of the surface you will observe that no no this light energy is not passing through at all completely so these are the three medium one is opaque other one is translucent and third one is your transparent opaque is what the medium through which light energy never pass through translucent medium is the medium through which light energy passes through but partly or partially okay that is called a translucent what is that translucent and that is transparent medium is what the light energy passes through completely okay i hope what is light energy what is energy yes or no and in energy how it is available in nature in packets in quantum form in photon form if you are uh, going to th think about the light energy there are different forms of energy then what about energy how the energy travel along with the straight path that is called as your ray what are the different pattern of the ray okay that we have discussed and to pass through okay the light to travel the light energy what happened it is incident on the surface and that uh, different different surfaces are there in our nature and accordingly what happened uh, we are dividing the nature into different medium we are different medium are there suppose light energy falling that means what it is passing through atmosphere also it is passing through any glass surface also it is passing uh, falling on the mountain also it is falling on the road building plant river everywhere natural phenomena is there and light energy is incident on it and we are enjoying how the light energy is passing through or not passing through even if it is passing through not completely and partly so accordingly that what that surface divided into medium that is opaque translucent and transparent okay one more thing is that you have uh, uh, this idea must have that suppose solar radiation is there okay sun is there suppose if you think sun sun radiation is huh, that is what traveling through different direction suppose we are here earth is there at this earth position is there this is the earth what is the distance mean distance between what is the distance between earth and sun 150 million kilometer approximately what is the distance between earth this suppose this is e for earth earth this is your sun our nearest star is sun next to star sun which is our nearest alpha centauri next to alpha centauri what is that proxima centauri so there are what happened where belongs to one solar system okay and solar system also belongs to what what galaxy you know what galaxy we have belongs to milky way akash ganga so whenever you are discussing all these things what happened you will enjoy the geography now the mean distance between sun and earth is 150 million kilometer now radiations are coming and falling on the surface so whatever the radiations light energy is releases from this sun it is not falling on the surface completely that means in between what is that atmospheres are space then after what happened atmospheres are there atmosphere having different different layers yes or no atmosphere different atmosphere different densities okay this idea you have so that means what i want to say this radiation whenever it is coming and falling then in this situation it is passing through the atmospheric level and maybe somewhere the radiation get observed maybe somewhere the radiation is passing through the atmosphere maybe the radiations or the light energy but pass not able to pass through completely so in this situation what happened some of the radiation get observed that is a get observed absorption of radiation and some of the radiation get transmitted means passes through transmitting the energy means light energy passing through that is transmitting and reflected back that is not able to pass through it is returning back bouncing back in our earth surface or above the earth surface what some of the surface are there medium are there then when radiations are coming may allowing to pass through 
some of the radius, some of the surface are there, they are not allowing to pass through, it is returning back, reflection taking place, that is called as reflection taking place, or if it is allowing to pass through, refraction taking place and some of the radiations are falling on the surface in this natural phenomena on the surface of the earth, some of the surface are also there, they are absorbing the light energy, neither they are reflecting nor they are allowing to pass through. So, in this situation, we are going to give a symbol that is absorption of the light energy A plus T plus R, it is called as 1, it is called as 1 means 100 percent, okay. whatever the radiations are coming and whenever it is falling on the surface of the earth, that means these three situations will come, these three situations will take place, radiations are absorbed also, radiations are passing through also, radiations are get translucent all that means what partially also pass through. So, all these three situation took place and there is a concept logic is that absorption of the energy plus transparent okay, transmitting of the energy and reflecting back of the energy all are equals to 100 percent and that 100 percent we are considering A plus T plus R is equals to 1 that is absorption plus transmission plus reflection is equal as 1 100 percent right 1 is equals to 100 percent. So, one after one, then again from here only the topic started what is reflection, okay. Till that what we are doing then, we are discussing about the what behavior of the light energy. This was up to the behavior of the light energy. Light energy is the, uh, light energy is the energy which produces the sensation of vision or sight and different uh, or pattern of the light energy you have discussed. And if the light energy are incident on the different surface of the nature, what happening? Different surface behave differently if the light energy incident on it. If the light energy falling on it, the different surface behave differently. May some, may be some uh, surface allowing, may be some surface not allowing. So, now what happened? One of the uh, main important first, okay, behavior of the light energy, if it is falling on the surface is called as what reflecting surface, what surface if the ray of light is falling and this ray of light is bouncing back, returning back into the same medium, same medium then that concept is called as what reflection. So, we will discuss reflection, ready to listen reflection, hmm? you are getting bored, so many behavior you have started discussing and eh? not entering the topic directly. So, I hope that introduction part, I think uh, you have uh, huh? got some profit, benefit, you have some got some knowledge, idea, you got or not. So, these are the behavior of the light energy. Now, reflection is there. Reflection means what the phenomena by virtue of which the phenomena in which the light energy bounce back, light energy bounce back into the same medium after an incident on a surface. I have a surface, suppose this is a surface and light energy in different pattern you know, I have told you different pattern of the light energy. So, which pattern this light energy is there? Parallel. parallel. This beam is in parallel for? Parallel. The pattern is parallel, okay. So, now the surface is there and what happened? The ray of light is falling on this, right. So, for the beam of light or the beam, this is the beam of light or light rays, whatever you can say and this is your surface x, x just surface is there. And this surface uh, what happened not allowing the light energy to pass through and what happened it is returning back into the same medium, it is coming from this medium. This glass, this is a mirror, suppose the surface is another medium. So, this is what? Suppose this is the air medium, it is coming from air, light energy coming from air falling on the surface and this surface is not allowing, no, no, light energy I will not allow to pass through you, that means what? Bounce back, returning back, yes or no? That means this rays of light is returning back into the same medium and the pattern is remaining same, the pattern is remaining same. So, you see these are all the rays whatever it is falling down, incident on the surface, they are called as incident ray, that means suppose A O B O dash. So, A O and B O dash, I am just giving this name as per my uh, uh, style that is A O and B, B O dash are incident rays, 
incident rays. You can check numbers of rays. Okay. Now what happened? Get reflected. O A dash. Okay. And O B dash. Okay. So what happened that? O A dash and O B dash. O dash B dash. Right. R equals to what? Reflected ray. What is that? Reflected ray. Clear or not? The point where the light energy fall or incident, that point is called as point of incidence, POI, point of incidence. Okay, now what happened? I am dropping this chalk here. The point where the chalk touch to the board. Okay, yes or no? One point is there or not? Exactly, this is a surface, light energy is falling on this point. So, that point where the light energy falls on the surface is called as point of incidence. So, what are the point of incidence? Let us take O is the point of incidence, O dash is the point of incidence, at the O point A O incident ray are falling on here. At this O dash point B, B O dash incident ray is incident on it. So, that means I can write O O dash are called as what? Point of incidence, point of incidence. Okay. Now, x x gas is that x x gas, it is a reflecting surface. This surface is reflecting surface. As for our concept, the rays are coming, this is parallel rays or beam coming and falling on the surface. This surface is behaving, what they are, they, this surface is behaving, not allowing the light energy to pass through. What it is doing that the it is returning back, bouncing back the rays into the same medium, but whenever the radiations or the reflected rays are returning back, bouncing back in the same pattern as as usual, as usual like the incident ray, the rays whatever it is incident falling they are called as incident ray, the rays whatever it is bouncing back, returning back to the same medium they are called as reflected rays. So, here A O is incident ray and that reflected ray is O A D S. Okay, and what is the reflected ray of the BO dash? BO dash is the incident ray, O dash, B dash is the reflected ray. So, these incident rays were coming into parallel form and reflected back also in parallel form. Parallel. Now, what happened? Some surface is there. Suppose the surface X dash, another pattern I am talking about that. Uh, the rays are coming. Okay. This is suppose A O, same thing I am doing and this is B O dash, okay. and this get reflected back. This is O A dash and O dash B dash. My dear is C here, is it same thing? Here what happened? The group of rays, parallel beam, incident on the surface, return back into parallel in the same pattern, but here happened that is not happening here. This surface is not behaving like this surface, first surface. What happened? This surface is that means what? Not able to produce the what reflection as like as the previous case. So, reflected rays in this case parallel, but reflected rays in this case not, not parallel. From there, we can judge, we can find out that reflection also in different types. Reflection also takes place different types and why the different types is coming? Because of the nature of the surface nature of the surface. Some surface are very shiny, polished, chic chic surface, shiny surface, chic chic surface, polished surface. In that surface, suppose incident ray of light are incident, then regular reflection will take place. Reflection will take place and as usual, the parallel incident ray get reflected into parallel only. The incident that that surface is what? Polished surface. It is taking place in what? Polished surface. Polished surface. If the surface is polished, surface is shiny, surface is chic chic. Okay. Incident is coming, parallel beam coming, falling, incident on the surface and reflected back as parallel only. Okay. As like incident ray, parallel ray is reflected also, but in parallel. So, it is case of a polished surface. Polished surface behave like this. So, the surface is not polished, rough top surface, irregular surface, okay, uh, dull surface, I can say, 
any other word is there dull surface non polished surface any more word rough top surface i can say okay so that surface word pen never gives the reflected rays parallel never bouncing back the reflected ray mean parallel what happened i uh, like this some of the rays is coming here some of the rays coming there non parallel rays what is that these are the parallel reflected rays are becoming parallel here and these are what non parallel so this is also a kind of reflection this is also a kind of reflection so reflection generally two types one is your regular reflection other one is your irregular reflection so reflection is two types reflection is a two types <coughs> is a two types one is regular reflection understanding or not any doubt regular reflection and samajh mein aa raha hai pakka barabar so irregular ref regular reflection irregular reflection i was talking about this only regular reflection where reflection takes place on a polished surface on a polished surface and the reflection which takes place on the non polished surface is irregular reflection dull surface ka eh whenever the rays of light incident rays of light or it is falling on the surface and that surface is not polished not shiny surface rough top surface irregular surface then reflected rays are not reflected in parallel in non parallel they are returning back bouncing back they are called as what your irregular reflection so this is your regular reflection example polished surface mein and this is what irregular reflection let us uh, discuss about your regular reflection irregular reflection also called as what diffuse reflection one more word is there diffused regular reflection and irregular reflection is called as diffused reflection diffused please keep in mind that reflection two type one is your regular reflection other one is your irregular reflection irregular reflection also called as diffused reflection regular reflection takes place in polished surface irregular reflection takes place in non polished surface in regular reflection all the incident rays are parallel all the reflected rays also parallel but in case of irregular reflection incident rays may be parallel but reflected rays are not parallel they are non parallel irregular okay so i think types of reflection is clear what do in the reflection the phenomena in which the incident ray fall on the surface and the incident ray get reflected back that re returning back bouncing back into the same medium then that phenomena is called as what reflection reflection two type one is regular takes place in polished surface where incident rays are parallel and reflected rays are also parallel and other one is your irregular uh, reflection which is called as diffuse reflection and in case of diffuse reflection all the reflected rays are not parallel okay because of the nature of the surface surface are irregular surface are rough top rough surface are non polished surface are not shiny non shiny surface okay <coughs> now let's discuss about the laws of reflection okay laws of reflection i think laws of reflection is there directly first point okay laws of reflection now the topic comes laws of reflection in case of laws of reflection okay suppose let us take a surface again x x dias okay now incident ray falling on the surface this is normal a no n dias normal incident ray let me give the name ao what is the name ao now get reflected back this one what is that this is the, this angle is called as i this angle is called as r right this surface is called as reflecting surface now according to laws of reflection <coughs> according to laws of reflection the incident ray 
रिफ्लेक्टेड रे वो भी नॉर्मल एट द पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंट एंड द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस ऑल आर विद इन ए प्लेन ऑल आर विद इन ए प्लेन राइट दिस इज द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इंसिडेंट रे रिफ्लेक्टेड रे नॉर्मल एंड द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस इंक्लूडिंग द पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंट ऑल आर विद इन ए प्लेन और ऑल आर इन ए प्लेन प्लेन मीन्स पी एल एन पी एल प्लेन मीन्स वॉट वन क्वार टू डी टू डायमेंशनल अप्रोच एंड सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज वॉट एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट इज कॉल्ड टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट इज कॉल्ड टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन दिस इज योर आई दिस इज योर आर इफ द एंगल बिटवीन नॉर्मल एंड द इंसिडेंट रे एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट एंगल बिटवीन नॉर्मल एंड रिफ्लेक्टेड रे इज एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो व्हाट इज द एंगल बिटवीन नॉर्मल एंड द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस दैट एंगल इज कॉल एज ग्लांसिंग एंगल एंगल जी दैट इज कॉल एज एंगल ऑफ ग्लांसिंग ग्लांसिंग एंगल ओके तो एंगल बिटवीन नॉर्मल एंड इंसिडेंट रे इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट एंगल बिटवीन नॉर्मल एंड रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंगल बिटवीन नॉर्मल सॉरी इंसिडेंट रे एंड रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंड रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस दे आर कॉल एज एंगल ऑफ ग्लांसिंग और दैट इज कॉल एज ग्लांसिंग एंगल ग्लांसिंग एंगल प्लीज रिमेंबर ग्लांसिंग एंगल एंड दिस ग्लांसिंग एंगल मीन्स वॉट हियर द टोटल एंगल इज वॉट नाइंटी डिग्री एंड एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज आई सो नाइंटी डिग्री माइनस एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस In the case of regular reflection, I am talking. E is equals to 90 degree minus angle of reflection. Are you yes or no? So 90 degree minus angle of incidence. Whatever it is left, that angle is called as what? Angle of glancing that equal to G. That equal to G. And it is only in case of your regular reflection case. If angle of reflection is not equal to angle of incidence, so I can't write this equation. After that, what happened? Different different surfaces are there. so it gives different uh, uh, nature of the reflection plane mirror also this is a case of plane mirror we can consider like that suppose that there is a mirror there is a surface that is spherical surface what is that spherical surface let us if you think about the spherical surface suppose uh, a spherical surface is there a spherical surface is what it has one center this part is what your radius and not clear so i want to cut it now i want to cut it now and we'll prepare the mirror we'll prepare the mirror i have a glass or spherical glass i have a glass in which shape which pattern spherical so i got a spherical glass and by the help of instrument or by the help of any sources i want to cut it so how will cut the glass by diamond right diamond is used to cut the glass diamond is used to cut the glass but here the glass cutters are not using diamond they are using the what what any other instrument glass cutter instrument or they are cutting through the diamond no also diamond okay maybe so i want to cut it suppose there is a sp uh, spherical glass i have a this spherical glass this center is your suppose c this is your suppose o CO is the radius. CO is the radius. I have taken a spherical glass where or whose CO is the radius. Okay. If it is a sphere, if it is a spherical body, spherical glass, then what is CO? The radius of the sphere. Radius of the spherical glass. Now I will cut it. Suppose I will cut this piece. So I have separated here. मैंने इसको कट किया एंड separated it now what happened now this piece is out okay separated now i brought it after cutting the glass spherical glass so now i have to uh, what happened use it in different this is this is a mirror this is the mirror how will make a mirror after coating it so what happened inside i am coating here it is inside coated inside coated okay inside coated now what happened if i will if i will bring another piece 
of the glass if i cut it and i'll place here and outside coated that piece is coated outside okay now what happened one piece is coated inside one piece is coated outside if it is coated inside that the surface outside surface the bulk surface is your reflecting surface okay if it is coated inside that this surface is called as bulk surface this bulk surface is called as reflecting surface reflected surface reflecting surface which one this your reflecting surface suppose it is coated outside this surface is reflecting surface reflected surface now if the glass is coated outside then this could um, what happens reflecting surface or they becoming the mirror and surface means what it is reflecting means what it is becoming mirror suppose incident ray is falling light energy is falling and what happens returning back Re reflection taking place that means what it is becoming already mirror so to make the mirror the glass cut piece has been coated what is the reason to make coating to make a mirror so this curved surface or the part of the what spherical glass has been coated to make it into mirror and the pattern of the coating if it is inside coated then the outside surface bulk surface becoming the reflecting surface if it is coated outside the inner surface okay becoming the what reflecting surface so here this surface becoming a mirror called as what your concave mirror what is that concave mirror and this surface is called as what your convex mirror so it is transparent you can say that suppose this surface is what it is inside coated the mirror then the mirror is called as convex outside coated mirror the inner surface is the concave mirror so the mirror spherical mirror is of two type okay now i can say spherical mirror is two type spherical mirror is of two type one is your concave other one is your convex okay concave and convex two type of mirror clear concave mirror and convex mirror clear let me remove it so in case of concave mirror and convex mirror so there are different pattern of the what happened reflection take place we can uh, draw we can experiment through the ray diagram to see the nature of the concave mirror then how this uh, concave mirror is producing reflection and suppose if any object is placed in front of the mirror and how the image also produced suppose if mirror is there if i stand in front of the mirror what happens i'll find my image or not ना डेली इन द एवरी मॉर्निंग वॉट एपेंड है किसको देखो ना देखो लेकिन मिरर को जरूर देखो क्योंकि इमेज इज प्रोड्यूस देर हाउ आई लुक इन द मॉर्निंग ये सुनो सो दैट मीन्स वॉट यर कंके मिरर कन्फेक्स मिरर इज देर सो वी कैन स्टडी वी कैन डू एक्सपेरिमेंट थ्रू दिस मिरर हाउ द इमेज आर प्रोड्यूसिंग इव एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ ए मिरर मे बी दैट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द प्लेन मिरर मे बी दैट मे बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ ए कंके और कन्फेक्स मिरर ओके so let us draw let us think about the what concept of what concept of the image produced by this one so let us think about the concave mirror x this is a diagram pattern okay i have taken one mirror don't get bored okay bring energy you are studying energy means what you are uh, studying light energy means what you must have energy to see it more time just a minute after that i will give a small break okay no problem now this is a part of the mirror is glass so spherical mirror yes or no hello i can draw like this i can imaginary i line drawing like this so maybe almost center will be here right i am not measured by scale so approximately i am imagining and taking and uh, what happened the rays of light are coming from infinity they are coming from infinity 
how it is there coming from infinity suppose for an example ray rays of radiation suppose parallel rays yes or no yes. they are coming and what happened suppose this is another point middle point that is your focus point what is that focus right so what they will do they will get passes through a point they will pass through a point that point is called as focus that is this radiations will pass through it the point where all the reflected rays are passing through they are called as what focus they are called as focus so all the incident rays these are the incident rays they are the incident rays and this point is called as focus point this is focus this is the uh, optical center of the mirror that is your focus that is a mirror concave mirror m this is the o is the center optical center you can say and is the focus this is the center of curvature so we will discuss here all the parallel rays are coming all the parallel rays are coming and get reflected passing through a point that point is called as focus on its principal axis that axis is called as this is your principal axis principal axis principal axis ka upar ek point hota hai that point is called as axis so let us have a 5 minute break okay after that i'll show what are the nature and the image for produced in concave mirror in different different like okay thank you